I learned the hard way not to uh, Velcro the bottoms of my beds before I lift the rails, and I ripped it open along the sides here. Dummy. Tried to fix it with staples. That didn't work. Uh, this is what it should look like on the other side. Uh, you can see here where the, from the corner it ripped forward. And I just covered it with a tarp until I could get a chance to uh, cover it. Here I'm just showing what I did. Uh, you have this waxy string and this is what I used to uh, sew it. I also put fabric fusion inside of the binding. I tried these curved needles, but they were just too hard to handle. Everybody kept saying, get the speedy stitcher, but I didn't want to spend 22 bucks. So I bought these. Here's my adventure. All right, I've already kind of started. When I got here, I've got two different needles. Big needles. I think they call these doll needles. Anyway, I got one big one and one small one. So I'll put the big one through first. What I'm doing is I'm stitching one this way and then the other one the other way. So basically I'm double stitching. I'm doing one needle that way, one needle this way, one needle that way, one needle this way. But what I do is I put the big one through first. And it's, it's really hard to push through this through this vinyl stuff. Then I'll put the small needle through, through the same hole and it actually goes through a little easier. So this is what I'm doing. I put this fabric fusion adhesive stuff I spooged it all up in there and then I put these little clips to hold everything in place while I'm sewing it so seems to be working looks like it's holding I'm pushing the I'm pushing the vinyl up as far as I can before I fold the binding over but I thought it had ripped in the corner. It actually didn't rip in the corner. It ripped up here, just above the corner, where the where the rail comes up and pushes on it. So I learned the hard way not to velcro this stuff, not to velcro this stuff on until uh, you've set this set the top part up. So I'll come back with the finished product. All right, I got it done. It ain't pretty, but it ain't open. So that took me a couple hours, probably two or three hours, and a lot of pushing. Uh, what I did was, I did two 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 needles. I, I put one needle that way and then one needle this way, and they zigzagged into each other, uh, creating this stitch. <clears throat> I don't know what you call it. I guess you call it a double stitch or something. But I put uh, I put this fabric glue in there or fabric fusion. I don't know how well it's going to work or not, but. A little extra glue wasn't going to hurt nothing. <clears throat> but while I was working, I put a bunch of little clips on here. I'll show you the other side. The other side, I haven't even done it. It just has the glue and the clips on it. But I learned the hard way. <clears throat> when you're setting up your camper and you pull your bed out, do not Velcro any of this down here. Don't Velcro anything down here until after you set everything up now here's what I did here I went through and I clipped this these are under underneath this binding but I put glue in there and then I put all these little clips in here for now that's that's what it's what's holding it right now but I've already spent a couple hours shoving needles through this thick stuff it's a lot of work get you one of those quickie stitcher things <laughs> I don't know if it's any better but I'm guessing it, it's probably a lot easier than what I did because those needles I have are really long. <clears throat> Me being a DIYer, I thought I'd make my own. So what I did was I made this, I made this thing with a hole through it and then the other side's got a little dent. So what I was doing, I was putting the needle with the thread into here and then using this to shove it through. And then after it went through, after it went through, I would use the butt, the butt end to push the eye of the needle the rest of the way through because once this part gets to the the vinyl, it's got the it's got the double string on it. What I did with this, the, the string is really thick, so what I did was I took four strands, I think it's eight strands, so I took four strands, spread them out, and I, I made uh, two strings out of it. Uh, don't buy these long needles. 
buy the bigger ones that are like that are, that are you know upholstery needles but just buy the little shorter ones because pulling these things all the way through is a lot of work they're uh upholstery needles yeah and that's what these are i i was having so much trouble i was practicing with these inside the house and i was having so much trouble with them i didn't even bother trying those but uh like i said i used a fabric fusion inside the binding <clears throat> then i sewed it up you might want to go a little slower i, I don't really i don't really care what it looks like as long as it was holding as long as i got a hold of this vinyl and this vinyl and they're up under here plus it has the glue in there that's what i'm doing i'm squeezing the glue in yeah but uh it worked all right, let me show you from the inside actually looks great from the inside What I thought, I thought I had, I had ripped the corners, and actually what happened was, what ripped was the flat part. Uh, I see a little light coming through that one, so I'm going to have to probably unthread that section and redo it. It looks like this part came out just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of work. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and send me a dollar.